the main human racial groups tend to have noticeable differences in skull shapes, so much so that it is often possible to identify the race of a given skull, just by looking at it. Skull shapes can be classified into three types, Negroid, Caucasoid, and Mongoloid, or similarly Black, White, and East Asian to represent the three main racial groupings of mankind. In fact, anthropologists, archaeologists and crime scene investigators do this all the time. To begin, African skulls tend to have larger rounder nose openings, rounder eye sockets and a more sloping facial profile, which from the side view results in the mouth region sticking out from the face more than that of the Asian or Caucasoid type. Caucasians tend to have long and narrow skulls with less pronounced cheekbones and more elongated chins. When compared to African skulls, Caucasians tend to have more triangular-shaped nose openings and somewhat squared eye openings. When compared to Asian or Mongoloid skulls, they are narrower and not flat-faced like the Asian skulls. Finally, East Asian or Mongoloid skulls tend to be short and broad, with wide cheekbones. North American, South American, Central American Indians, and Mexican mestizos are examples of people who generally fall into this Asian skull category. The anthropological term for these short broad skull type is brachycephalic. The oldest brachycephalic or Asian skulls found in the Americas are approximately 9,000 years old, whereas the oldest Caucasian or dolichocephalic skulls found in the Americas are from 9,000 to over 13,000 years old. This trend of the oldest human remains in the Americas being Caucasian and not of the wide Asian shape is actually widely known in the anthropological community. For example, Dr. George Gill, of the University of Wyoming is on the record stating, quote, Examining these earliest remains shows me that some were Caucasian. End quote. Further, Dr. Sylvia Gonzalez who led the radiocarbon dating research on the oldest human remains ever found in the America stated, quote, It's quite possible that dolichocephalic or caucasoid man existed in North America well before the native Indians, end quote. Again, two prominent researchers from mainstream universities saying that the oldest skulls in the Americas tend to be Caucasian in shape. There are of course many others in the scientific community who know this fact, although generally suppressed in the mainstream media. Although a craniometric analysis involves using multiple sophisticated measurements of the skull, and anthropologists can often easily determine racial group membership just by looking at the skull, anthropologists also have relatively simple ways of identifying the racial group to which a skull belongs. Here is an example from Wikipedia's craniofacial anthropometry section. Quote, Imagine that you are handed a U.S. skull and asked to determine whether the person was white, black, or Asian that is, Euro-American, African-American, or Asian-American. Place the skull face down on a tabletop. Now try to rock it from side to side. If it fails to rock, but instead sits high on its cheekbones, with a face too flat to let the nose portion touch the table, then the chances are that it is of East Asian ancestry. If it rocks from side to side because the midline of the face protrudes past the cheekbones like the bow of a boat, then it is probably of either African or European ancestry. Now stand the skull upright so that it rests on the neck opening. If the face slopes down and forwards because the mouth protrudes farther forward than the forehead, then it is likely black. If the face is vertical, it is probably caucasoid. In practice, Many other tests are necessary in order to hazard a determination but, in the end, it works because there are consistent differences among U.S. endogamous groups. A skull that matches the group of features associated with African American ancestry is called Negroid. Skulls with traits suggesting European and Asian ancestry are called, respectively Caucasoid and Mongoloid. End quote. These basic facts about the skull shapes of the different racial groupings of mankind should give you a basic sense of the differences involved. Now let us do a comparison of some of the oldest skulls found in the Americas. Remember that these are the actual pictures of skulls radiocarbon dated to be between 9,000 and 13,000 years old, making them the oldest human skulls ever found in the Americas.
These skulls are thousands of years older than the earliest American Indian skulls, which are brachycephalic or wide in shape. Again, these skulls are all considered Caucasoid by anthropologists, and none have the same craniometric dimensions as American Indians. As an exercise, use your own eyes to determine if these ancient American skulls appear most like the actual skulls of Caucasoid, Asian or Negroid peoples. The first skull is that of Kennewick Man. It is more than 9200 years old. Upon discovery in 1996, anthropologist Dr. James Chatters held a press conference reporting that it was Caucasian, and one of the oldest ever discovered in North America. Now that you have had a cursory tutorial in skull shapes, you can see that the skull is in fact a classic Caucasoid skull shape, nearly identical to that of a classic Caucasoid or Dolichocephalic type pictured herein. Pay particular attention to Kennewick Man's long narrow skull, as well as the nose hole and protruding chin. It clearly most closely resembles the stereotypical Caucasian skull shape. This is the Lovelock Cave Mummy Skull unearthed near Lovelock, Nevada. These remains are generally taller in stature than local Indians and appear to have had red hair. This skull clearly has Caucasian features, with an elongated head and large chin. This skull has not been dated, but is thought to belong to the same group as other ancient Caucasian remains from this area, all of which are in the 9,000-year-old range. Notice how the Lovelock Cave skull is long and narrow, with a large protruding chin characteristic of Caucasoid and not Asian. Also notice its triangular shaped nose hole and angular eye sockets. Taken together these features are not characteristic of an African or Negroid skull either. This skull is clearly Caucasoid as well. Next is the skull from Panan Woman 3, which is over 13,000 years old. This is the oldest skull ever found in the Americas. When reported in 2002, the Independent UK stated that quote, The most intriguing aspect of the skull is that it is long and narrow and typically Caucasian in appearance, like the heads of white, Western Europeans today. End quote. Again we have a narrow skull with a large protruding chin like a Caucasian. This skull does have larger cheekbones than the classic Caucasoid skull, but it has been determined by this research team that this skull is in fact not Mongoloid or Asian. Based on the skull, Dr. Silvia Gonzalez, a Mexican-born archaeologist working at John Moores University as research leader investigating this and other similar skulls found in Mexico, reported in 2002 that her discovery lends weight to the highly contentious idea that the first Americans may have actually been Europeans. Here is the Spirit Cave Mummy, also found in Nevada. It is approximately 9400 years old and shows no physical similarity to modern American Indian head shapes. Spirit Cave Mummy has a long narrow skull, large protruding chin and triangular shaped nose opening. In the year 2000 when its skull measurement results were published by the Bureau of Land Management choosing the Gents and Ousley database, it was found to most closely resemble the Norse people and secondarily the Ainu, both of which are Caucasoid peoples. Again, Looking at the Kennewick Man skull, and a classic Amerindian or Asian Indian skull from the Americas, you see the striking difference. The Caucasoid skull of Kennewick Man is thin, and long and has a protruding chin. The Asian skull has a more stout chin, wider cheekbones, a flatter face and less protruding nose area. Remember the rule of thumb table test. The Amerindian skull shown here would probably easily lie flat, face down on a table, whereas Kennewick Man and the other skulls just shown for example, Lovelock Cave Skull, Spirit Cave Skull, and Panan Woman 3 Skull would all fall to one side as their nose protrudes beyond their cheekbones, thus providing additional supportive evidence that they are Caucasoid. Here is a front and side view of the Lovelock Cave Skull, found in 1911. It is long and thin, with a large chin, that does not protrude from the rest of the face as with the classic Negroid skull type. Further, as you look at the nose opening relative to the cheekbones, it is clear that the skull would not lay face down on a table, and thus does not appear Asian. Again, its shape is consistent with the skull of a Caucasoid person. You've now seen actual pictures of these skulls with your own eyes. This is merely a sample of the many ancient Caucasoid skulls found in the Americas.
approximately 20 have been found to date, and radiocarbon dating shows that these ancient Caucasoid skulls are in fact older than any broad, wide skulls ever found in the Americas. These latecomers are the ancestors to the later arriving Indians, and their mestizo descendants. That these Caucasoid skulls are the oldest ever found lends support to the revolutionary idea that Stone Age Caucasians were the first people to settle the Americas. And the evidence just keeps mounting supporting this view.